Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a first impression review video. I don't typically do these very often, but this product in particular caught my eye and I wanted to do a video on it because I was interested in seeing how it works. So I figured there's gotta be people out there who wanna know does this product work or is it a waste of money? So the product I'm going to be talking about today is Benefits Puff Off and this is a gel eye cream and it is supposed to reduce puffiness under the eyes, hence the name Puff Off. So I suffer from under eye bags every day. Don't really know what it is. I get, you know, a probably eight hours of sleep every night. So I don't think it's lack of sleep. It could be genetics, could be allergies could be you know a million different things but I haven't found out why so I've tried a lot of products you know to try to get rid of that and nothing's really touched it and you can you know obviously you can apply concealer but concealer is not going to reduce the bag it's going to you know conceal it a little bit but it's not going to reduce the bag size itself so I'm always looking for something I was at Sephora probably about a month ago and I asked the girl there I was like what do you have here for under eye bags like help me please and she suggested something it was a eye cream from Alginist so I tried that for four weeks like it said on the box try this for four weeks you'll see results I literally saw no results I almost felt like it made it worse so I was like all right this is going back because that thing was like 68 bucks and I'm like no I'm not keeping this and letting it sit in my bathroom shelf when it did nothing for my life so I went back and I said, okay, I'm returning this. What do you have? I need something different. So it was a different girl this time and she right away brought me over to the benefit section of Sephora and she said, you know, try this. Um, we use it in a beauty demo. A lot of girls were really impressed with it. And she actually said that older ladies tend to like it, which made me feel like, oh my God, I'm like 102. I'm using an old lady product, but whatever, I have under eye bags and I need to fight them. So she said, you know, give this a try. Um, I think you'll really like it. So I decided to buy it. It retails for $29 at Sephora. You can buy it at Sephora, Ulta, anywhere that carries benefit products. So this is the box for the product. It has 0.34 fluid ounces or 10 milliliters of product. So I'll read you all the claims on the box so you can get an idea of what the product is aiming to do. So puff off, instant eye gel to help smooth the look of puffies. Custom ironing tip, instant performance, smooth matic glide, cools on contact. So they have the kind of gimmick going for them which is the ironing tip which I will show you guys. Looks like that. So it looks like a little iron, you know, to iron away all your problems. And the product itself goes on kind of a very light baby pink shade and then it just blends in clear. So it's not really tinted to like be a tinted concealer. I think it does have some kind of brightening effect with that baby pink shade. It says, puffies and creases look satiny smooth. The innovative under eye gel with custom ironing tip instantly helps smooth the look of puffies and fine lines. Iron away for a smoother day. 94% said eye area looked smooth, works alone, under, or over makeup. So that's everything that the box says. So now I'm just gonna show you guys a brief little demo of how the product works so you can see in real time, you know, see the products in action and what it does. The directions just say to use, squeeze once and dot under each eye, then go back and glide on with ironing tip. So let's just give it a try. So I guess I'll just do it on one eye first and then see what happens. So I'm gonna squeeze. Oh, I think I might have take too much. So I'm dotting it underneath and then I'm just gonna start rubbing it in. So then I'm just gonna kinda just pat it with my ring finger. Just so it'll really soak in there and dry. I think it does work a little bit. You can see that my bag here is a little bit more prominent. So, I don't know. It works more than I thought that it was going to. This is the side with the puff off, this is without. So I think it has a little bit of a difference. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Wow, I think I like this stuff. 
stuff. I was thinking that it was going to be a total fail. It's also like really smooth under here, which feels really nice. And it's not sticky or anything. I was afraid that it might be a little bit sticky or tacky, but it's definitely, you know, nice and smooth and dry under there. So now I'm just going to go ahead and apply my face makeup. So now obviously I have all of my face makeup on and that helps a lot as well, but it made my concealer go on so much smoother. I don't typically feel like I need to apply like a primer underneath my eyes. I have no like face primer or anything on today. I just use this under my eyes and I feel like my concealer went on so smooth and flawlessly. Um, I'm definitely impressed with that. Also, I just feel like I didn't need to put as much concealer on as I normally would. And I don't know, I feel just like I look way more awake. And So yeah, I would definitely recommend this product if you're someone who suffers from under eye bags or fine lines under there. I would totally suggest this. It makes your under eye area is so smooth to the touch, makes your concealer go on so easily, and obviously it reduces the size of under eye bags. And I am impressed mainly because I have that problem, the puffiness, and no other product that I've tried really has made a significant difference. So um, I can't really find any you know, cons with this product besides the price. The price is $29, so it is a little bit you know more on the high end side, but you know, I feel like it's worth it because I've tried, you know, some drugstore products and more high-end products and they didn't really do anything for me and this I feel like helps. So I'm going to continue to use this and yeah. I also wanted to add that it is very hydrating underneath the eye area so it doesn't dry it out or make it look cakey or anything like that, um, which is something you definitely want to avoid because that's just going to make you look older and you don't want that. So yeah, I would definitely give this product a thumbs up. I would recommend it. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the first impression review type video. If you want to see more, please let me know some other products that you would want me to do a first impression or review on. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.